How's it going everyone? Today we are taking a look at the new Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness Lego set number 76205 Gargantos Showdown. This set does come with 264 pieces and retails for $30 here in the United States. This set does come with three minifigs, that being Doctor Strange, America Chavez, and Wong. On the front of the box, you'll see all three of those characters fighting Gargantos, as well as some very nice Multiverse of Madness box art. On the top of the box, you get the usual 1-1 scale minifigure. In this case, it is Doctor Strange himself. And on the back of the box, you see Gargantos in a slightly different pose with all of his tentacles and tendrils, as well as all of the minifigs fighting him in different positions as well as the same box art on the front, but now they're all minifigures. That's gonna do it for the box. Let's get this thing opened up, built, and reviewed. Moving on first, you do of course have Doctor Strange on the left there, America Chavez in the middle, and Wong on the right. All of these figures do have different accessories. You have Doctor Strange with his orange magic, America Chavez with her pride pin, which is on her uh, jacket in the movie. And you have Wong with a slightly different color of magic over there on the right. All of these figures do have very nice and detailed um, torso prints. And Doctor Strange and Wong both have nice light prints as well. All three figures do also have nice back prints on their torsos. And America and Doctor Strange do have second face prints, while Wong does not. I also forgot to mention it, but... America Chavez does have the medium bendable legs, so she does look a little bit shorter, which makes sense because she's a teenager in the film. There was only one other thing I really wanted to touch on with the minifigures, and that is the Cloak of Levitation right there. This is a very nice, oh, by Doctor Strange, a very nice bendable rubber piece. If you have the uh, Doctor Strange, or the Spider-Man No Way Home uh, Sanctum Workshop set, and I believe maybe one other set, I don't remember, you probably already have this piece. This is the first time I've gotten it. You don't need to actually remove the head of the figure to put it on like most capes or neck accessories. You can just pop that on like that. I actually knocked his hair off, but still. There you go. Looks nice and a lot better than the old one they were using, which is just a regular cape piece. It did come on the uh, Spider-Man from the CMF series, the Zombie Hunter Spider-Man. This is leagues and leagues better in quality. And yeah, I can't, I can't say how happy I am with it. It's, it is fantastic. Moving on now to the big man himself. This is Gargantos and he looks amazing. He looks very nice and expressive with that big giant eye right in the middle the print on the eye in the middle there is very nice. That is not a sticker. There are no stickers in this set for the people who care about that. Uh, his little like eyebrow, I guess, there is really good. All of the tentacles look amazing. The color on him is very good. I'm a big fan of the one that they picked. Underneath, you can see he's got um, some round pieces there to smooth him out. But yeah, he's a big, gross-looking dude. They nailed it. <laughs> Now, all of these tentacles do move and articulate in different ways. The ones here on the bottom, these four, don't have that much motion. These joints move and then they rotate. That's it. But they do keep him standing up. Think of those as kind of like his legs. This one in the middle, which is almost like his mouth, I guess, moves around like that. And you can, of course, spin these around. So that right there just kind of fills out the tentacle mess in the front. These two in the front do move like this. They are on a ball joint. They do move this way and then you can move the little bit on the end. So you got lots of different motions and positions to articulate his uh, front arms in. These two in the back are the same as the ones in the front. So you get the exact same range of motion on those. And then you have the four big ones, which are also on ball, ball joints. They do move up and down a little bit and forward and back a little bit, but they do rotate 360 degrees uh, on the ball joint. They rotate 360 degrees on that joint and on that joint. So you really get so many different uh, ways to pose him and move him around and you can make him climb stuff you can make him carry figures you can really make him kind of like look really big like that for example 
Uh, and yeah, for $30, I was kind of worried that this wouldn't feel that big. But in reality, other than the little like ball that is his, you know, body, I guess, there's only like probably 40 pieces outside of that for the arms, like 40 or 50 pieces. So he really does get this really nice big presence with very, very few pieces. They really did good with that. And honestly, this feels like a great value for $30 because it just feels really big and substantial. So they really, really did a good job on this. That is going to do it for this Doctor Strange set. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I'm always down there talking with you guys. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.